Hello, Dr. Munira. I'll show you uh, how to build this uh, models um, of uh, yttrium barium cupric uh, oxide uh, systems. So I'm opening the software now. So once you open the interface, you go to File, Change Working Directory. So here you can create a new directory. A new directory you can name it uh, in, um, yttrium barium cupric 07. So that's the system which you are going to build. Then file, save project as. So you can give it a name. I'm giving a name of example one. So I'm saving it. So here with the, with the email, I'm going to send you the structure. So I have already the structure uh, downloaded from, uh, from the crystal database. That is yttrium barium. So here is the system. So um, go here. Click atom, set elements. So, yeah, so this is the yttrium atom, this is the barium atom, these the red ones are the oxygens, and the, the, the orange ones are the copper atoms. So this is your system. So, this is the unit cell of YBA2CCU3O7. So, from here, you can build super cells. So, you go to this lower icon. So, the material science suite icon, when you click it, you get this option. You click the extends. Here you can increase the number. So if you increase the number one one one, so here you will get a two by two by two cell. So this is containing 104 atoms. So if you want further increase the cell, you can further increase the cell in the other direction also. So you can put any number here. But it is wise and it is advised that we stay with the minimum number of atoms possible, so that the calculations can go faster. And in your system, in your system, this is already a very slow system. So if you go with the bigger systems, you will you will not be able to complete the simulations. So this is how you build the system. So in the next video, I will show you how to set up the simulation. So this is how you simply incorporate the molecules into the interface. Okay. Uh, I will I will show you the uh, how to set up the simulations in the next video.